Let's take a little look at label placement for points in QGIS. I've got a map of some Indian places here. And if I go to the layer properties for the World Cities layer and double click it, I can see that in the label section, I've got the city name labeled size 12. And what I have in the placement section is cartographic mode, which is probably going to be the default on your machine and distance is zero. So if you look closely at a city like uh, Madabad, you'll see that A is quite close to the dot and sometimes you just want to increase that distance. So if I change the distance variable to 0 0.5 and click apply, things get a bit more space. So there's more space between the label and the point. And I'll increase this to one. Okay, so that's one useful tip. It's in labels, it's in placement, and then it's distance. But sometimes if you have a background on your labels, so I'll do this now, draw a background and click apply, that can kind of infringe on the points too. So usually with a background, what I'll do is I'll change the size X to maybe two and the size Y to maybe one. And that gives the white space more room around the text. I'll click apply and you can see what I mean. So if I change that to like three for the X and apply, then it infringes on the point and you're going to want to move it. So if you have this situation, go to placement and you can increase the distance. Let's try two and I'll apply that. Okay, maybe three will be better here. Click apply and I'll just add a little shadow onto the background. There we go. So if you need to move points, or actually if you need to move labels because they're overlapping points, you go to the label section for that layer and you go to placement and then you can change the distance value. And hopefully that'll make your maps look a little bit neater and more satisfying.